On our continuum of services, we have something called consultant teacher services. All of our students with special needs will have a second teacher built into either their math or ELA class or their science and social studies class, depending on grade level. So we do meet with all of the teachers as often as we can um, through our caseloads and, and try to support the students as much as possible. We did start the year off fully virtual and uh, we did create a master schedule to where about 90% of our classes have two teachers. Um, whether or not that second teacher is special ed certified, is you know English language learner certified, um, they are supported by two teachers. So that's been really, really, really helpful, I think, for students during remote learning. Actually, the student and mom that you're about to meet with, uh, they came to us last year and she opened up a lot about her experiences with trying to advocate and get her daughter um, the supports that she had seen her whole life that she really needed. I just feel really lucky to have uh, been put with them, if that makes sense. My children have been in three different schools before, and even though I've been very involved in their education and very active in their school, I had never had this level of communication with a team, with a school, period. Um, I have emails with the teachers. Every Friday, I get an update on Samantha's performance during the school week. I can text the teachers. I can call the teachers. They are always available. As a parent, it's like extremely significant that I'm able to know, number one, who's around my children, <laughs> who has influence on my children, because we're living in times that people don't share your values, your morals, and you need to know who's around your children. And I'm so content with every single teacher that is around my children. I would be shocked if I didn't talk to anywhere from four to five of those parents a week, whether it's texting, emailing, phone calls, um, some of those students are on next level intervention plans. So I make sure that I send them their weekly assignment trackers or things like that each week. I always kind of say to them, you know, through everything, through all of your challenges, through any struggle that you have, through any bad moment you have, I, I see you. And I would say that, that seeing them for who they are, despite again, any challenge up and down, poor moment that we have, um, they really are such good, good people. Um, who want to do well for themselves, their families. Um, and, and I see that in every single one of them. So that's really what I like most about working with, about working with the students I work with. Special education, if your child has a, a medical condition or if your child is goes to the CSC process and the district determined that your child needs an IEP, that child will have an IEP regardless where the child goes to. The fact, the fact that, um, that charter school not only take care of the IEP or the academics, the charter school look at the child as a whole. It look at the way that the child learns and they teach the way the child learns, not the child being forced to learn the way they want to teach. That's the difference between traditional, <laughs> traditional public school <laughs> and charter school. So that's, that's what I tell every parent, just make sure that you make it an informed decision, go in the website, call the schools, ask all your questions, come with your questions on front, respect people's time, have all your questions in writing and just get the answer for your questions and then you can make your decision.